You ready? I'm ready. What's up, YouTube? It's Mark, and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. We're on the West Coast today. I'm with my buddy Ryan. We're heading out on his 23 contender. Last time I was on a 31. So, you know what they say, it's always good to have a friend with a boat. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're heading offshore. We're gonna try and get some grouper, maybe some snapper. Uh, we got a bunch of bait with us. And we got a special guest today. I got my brother, Michael, and my sister, Julia. <laughs> They're visiting me from Europe. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually grew up in Europe. I only moved to the States like 12 years ago. So they're over visiting. And we're gonna try and put them on some fish. They're a lot deeper than you think. They're probably like 20 or 30, probably 30 feet down. It looks like they're really close, but. I've got it on. Who the fuck set my drag on this? And lent it to a friend. There we go. Yeah, turn that one on. Cool, can you set? Yeah. Just push the top button. Yep. What do we got? Yeah, it's a, it's a mangrove. Big mangrove, nice. Hell yeah. That's what's up right there. <laughs> it's a good time to find out we, we don't have flyers. There we go, that's what we're after right there. Big big mangrove snapper. All right, there it is. First fish on the boat. In the cooler. All right, so basically what, what I just did to catch that fish, I chunked all the smaller pieces of the these sardines. These sardines are kind of soft, so your hook doesn't really hold on. So I just cut a couple pieces, I threw them out the back, they got all excited. And then I put the jig head on the head. It's the only hard part. Pulled on real good. And I just chucked it right back behind the boat here and just let it sink. And eventually, I can already see them. There's a big school of them right down there. Here, Joel, here's what you're gonna do. <laughs> you're gonna watch this line. You can even sit right here if you want. Ready? Okay, so how? So look, the fish, are, you see them all right here, right? See them? Yeah, buddy. When it goes, and you'll see it'll go, it'll go quick. And then? And then, gonna, and then we're gonna close it and you're gonna brace yourself and it's there quite pretty hard. We just want it falling. As soon as you stop it from falling, it doesn't really look natural anymore. You want to keep it down. Yeah, Leave it open and when they grab it, it'll, it'll go fast. And then when you close it, it'll basically just set the foot. And every now and then you just check your bait and pull it back up. Do the same thing. There you go, fish on. No, that's Ryan. Ryan's got one. Good tonight. How do you know when it goes? You'll know. You'll know. It'll just go. Trust me. <laughs> I 
I gotta take it. I gotta take it real easy though, cause see, I'm using that tiny little hook. Well, at least we know that now. Yeah. Live bait, jig head. Is that him or I, I think it is. Yeah. I think. I think it's just a nice snapper. That's a good snapper, dude. Help me out with this. I just don't want to break the line right here in the boat. Dinky ass little hook. Hell yeah. That's a good one right there. And corner of the mouth. Since we don't have freaking pliers. <laughs> Third fish in the boat. Watch this. As soon as I put this thing back there, Put your bait with it, cause like, dude, watch the school come right up. Watch. They start seeing that thing splashing around and that school is gonna be right on its ass. See, there they are, right there. Here, Michael, take it. Just keep your rod pointed down. Just wait, if it starts going, close it. Did you get hit? Here, you can close the bail, Mike. Just let it let it hang out down there. Oh damn. That got chewed up by something. Okay, so you're gonna pull up? Yeah. Reel down. Reel, 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 reel. Yep. Nice and easy. Yep. Flex, take it easy. There you go. There you go. That's a keeper. Okay. Here we're gonna give it a little bit of line. There you go, Jewel. Yay! Michael doesn't even have the camera on. <laughs> it's not on. Oh, now it's on. Yeah. You caught the ending. Sorry, I was trying well, to. Well, I had the one on my chest. The one on my chest is on. Way to go, Jewel. Here we go. There's Julia's first fish. Yay! <laughs> fish down there or no? No, I've got a piece of squid down. Honestly, those liveies every now and then, it really gets their attention. The whole school like flocks towards it. Stopped for a second because I was like, "Good, oh, turn on the camera." I think a big grouper just ate it. Oh yeah. Is there still uh, something on it? You think? Oh yeah, there's well, a there's a fish. Look, well, he's leader. taking he's taking line. What leader is that? Twenty. <laughs> it's funny. Is it coming or no? No, no he's taking it doesn't even it doesn't even know it's hooked. Damn, you stopped for like two seconds. I stopped for a split second just to turn on the camera. This is your fault. This is why I am got my fish eaten by a grouper. This is why they're not eating, man. We got probably got a goliath down there. Yeah, dude. This, this is pointless. It's a goliath. <laughs> it's a goliath grouper. It's like... It's a big one. Yeah. It's a big ass grouper. They're very pretty too. Dude, I'm surprised this 20 pound test is holding, man. Like, I'm putting a, a lot of pressure on this fish. But, dude, he's like, he's way the hell over there. I'm far away. I just want to break it, but he's like under the boat. You want to walk around? There it is. That was, I guarantee you it was the yellow tail. Or no, was it fighting good? The snapper? It was a big snapper at first. And then it just, I stopped for a split second and it got rocked. So there you go. Took everything. 
catch a fish, don't stop. Bring it up, because there's big grouper down there that will take it. You got Goliath. No, it's coming up. It's coming it up. isn't? No, it's not. no, man, you just got rocked. <sighs> yep, you got... How did it take it though? I just hooked it up like instantly. Dude, I swear they're sitting there and just like, as soon as that fish starts acting weird, they're just swimming over and nailing it. Just break it off, man. It's a, Y'all haven't heard, in some areas, there's a lot of Goliath groupers and FWC is actually bringing it to a public comment at the upcoming uh, commission meeting in May so if you guys have been dealing with this and you want to submit a comment make sure that you go I'll uh, put the date of that meeting uh, it's all virtual so you just log in from your phone call in leave your comment let uh, FWC know what you think about it a little bit of fun with uh, the little rod yeah there's the snappers right here behind the boat up high up high. Yes, yeah, dude, they're right here. There's a big school of them right back here. Here we go. Oh shit, the Goliath's after it. I saw it, yeah, I saw it. No, ah, shit, I think he got it. No, you see him behind it? Ah, oh, there he is. As soon as I stopped tightening the drag, he grabbed it. Yeah, I just broke it off. I watched that thing come up from the depths of chase it, dude. Get a shower while you're at it. Got it real quick. That's ready for the grill. And as a bonus, we got some sand perch. We'll flay these up and try them out. See how they are. Alrighty, I've got snapper, I've got sand perch, and I've got my side. I think everybody at this point knows that snapper is fantastic and I don't need to do a taste test. But this is the sand perch. So right off the bat it feels much firmer than uh, say like snapper for instance which is really flaky and soft. And that's, that's exactly right. It is edible, I mean it, it's not bad. So, if you've got a family to feed, and you're keeping everything, sand perch is okay. If you're trying to impress your friends, 
He'll throw that stuff back. So, I'm going to go make myself a plate of this wonderful snapper. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, and if you're liking this fish content, make sure you drop a comment down below and let us know. We don't usually put much of it out. We're usually more of a hunting channel. So, uh, we're kind of trying some new stuff here with this. Uh, if you're interested in winning a bow for, uh, for hunting, uh, archery season is right around the corner. We're less than three months out. We have a giveaway going on right now. If you go down in the description, you can, um, you can sign up for that giveaway. Um, and we're going to be announcing the winner in like a month, I think. So, uh, the chances are actually still pretty high. Um, definitely not a record high of entries. So your chances are good. Go check that out. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for all your support.